work today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Rocket Sled 8000. That's quite a fine piece of recreational machinery, Lloyd. I've been saving for this puppy since I was nine years old, Station. All my allowance, all my birthday money, all the spare change in the couch, and if I could just get 50 more Krontars, she'll be mine. All mine! Hey! <laughs> Ramsey, what's the big idea? Dance, big brother, dance like a crazy puppet boy! <laughs> hey, come on! <laughs> Lousy, rotten, telekinetically gifted brat, sister! The best thing about getting that sled will be riding it away from her. Go away, you creepy little spook! Lloyd, it's me. Oh, hi, Mom! Sorry, I thought you were Francine. Well, as it so happens, I need to talk to you about Francine. She's finally pushed you too far also, huh? Well, don't worry. If we hang together, we can be strong. No, Lloyd, it's nothing like that. Remember how I'm going to the annual Station Commander Conference on Alpha Centauri this weekend? Sure. I'm staying here with Station, and you're dropping off Francine with Mrs. Zork. Well, there's a problem. Mrs. Zork slipped cleaning her refrigerator, and now she's got her tentacle in a cast. I need you to babysit Francine. B -b babysit Francine? No way! Look, Lloyd, I'm not thrilled with the situation either, but I don't have a choice. Everyone I can think of has previous commitments. Well, how about Mrs. Slugblatt? No, she's competing in a 5K slither this Saturday, and she'll be gone for a week. But, Mom, you can't let me babysit. I'm too young and immature. Sure. Oh, come on. You're always trying to prove how grown up you are. Now's your chance. Besides, it's just for two days, and I'm not leaving you completely alone. Station will be here to help with things. Yes, I'm programmed to help. And kids love me. I don't care. I'm not babysitting, and there's nothing you can say that'll make me. If you do it, I'll pay you 50 Krontars. No way! 50 Krontars?! Mom, I think you just hired yourself a babysitter. Great, honey. But there's two conditions. If I come back and the house is a shambles, or if I hear you two have been fighting, you don't get paid. No problemo, Mom. The Lloydster's got everything under control. Please! Please! Don't leave me with him! Please! <laughs> Let go of me, Francine. It's only for two days. But Mommy, I can't stand him! He's the horriblest big brother ever! <laughs> I'm sorry, Francine, but this is just the way things have to be. Now be a good girl and listen to your brother. He's in charge while I'm away. I'll be back on Sunday night. Lloyd, just use your best judgment and everything will be fine. You got it, boss lady. Station, you know the number if there's an emergency. I will contact you at the slightest hint of trouble. Okay, I guess I better get going. Try and have a good weekend, kids. I love you both. Bye. Farewell, Commander. See you later, Mom. Have a good conference. Okay, I'm in charge. So, let's kick this gig off with a robust breakfast, shall we? Now, let's see. What should we eat? Perhaps you could fry up a couple of egg pods, Lloyd. Egg pods? Nah, too hard. There's got to be something in here that's easy to fix and good for you. Hey, here's just the stuff. And I'm sure it'll... Francine, you know Rosie's not allowed to sit on the table. Well, Rosie's my best friend. Francine? <laughs> That's better. Now look what I found for us this beautiful morning. A nice box of cream of nutrients. I don't want cream of nutrients. I want sugar frosted junk oids. Well, you can't have sugar frosted junk oids because they're bad for you. We're having cream of nutrients. I want junk oids. Nutrients. Junk oids. Nutrients. I want my sugar frosted junk oids. Um, Lloyd, do you think that's such a good idea? I mean, there's more nutritional value in the cardboard box than in the junkoids themselves. Look, I'm just gonna humor her, okay? There you go, sis. Your wish is my command. Me and Rosie are gonna eat in front of the TV. What? Francine, wait! Francine, you know you're not supposed to eat in the living room. So? So? If you spill cereal on the couch, you'll get in huge trouble. Will I or will you? What's that supposed to mean? You heard, Mom. If anything goes wrong, you won't get those 50 Krontars you want so bad. And no Krontars, no Rocket Sled 8000. How do you know about that? Bet you mind when you wasn't looking. Oh. Now, how about some TV? <laughs> In the name of all the pretty flowers and cute puppies in the universe, we are the Daisy Droid Girls! 
Oh, brother. I'm not watching this. Get ready for Clover Bob Cruise Fest! I want to watch Daisy Droid Girls! We're watching Clobberbots! Turn it back to Daisy Droids, Lloyd. Turn it back or I'll blow up the TV. That's crazy talk. No kid ever heard of TV. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Okay, okay, I do! Thank you. Rotten little twerp. and clean it up. You do it. You're the one who doesn't want to get in trouble. Oh, I'll get the sponge. Sucker. Now, Francina, I think you're being a little mean-spirited. Your brother's just trying to do a good job and... Shut up, eyeball! Oh, Francine, what's gotten over you? None of your beeswax. Young lady, if you don't start acting a little nicer, I'll be forced to call your mother. Do that now. Crash your hard drive. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. That would take days to repair. Keep quiet, will you? I'm watching TV. All right, that's it. I'm calling your mother this instant. Now, what was that number again? Area code 3,557. Nothing can stop me now. I am in control. Oh, Lord, I need more juice. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be sweet. Hanging out at Lloyd's Pad for a whole weekend with the Lloydster himself in charge. We shall be four bachelors extraordinaire. Yeah, Daisy Droid Girls till dawn. That's a girl show, Kurt. Oh. Huh? Don't worry, kid. We'll have this station unit fixed up and reinstalled by Sunday afternoon. Say, are you kids friends with that boy in there? Yes, sir. Then you'd better pray for him, son. What in the name of humanity is going on here? We're having a tea party. I'd invite you to join us, except I don't want you to. This just isn't right. We come over expecting all sorts of good, clean guy fun, and all we see is a bunch of girls having a tea party? Where's Lloyd? Where's the man in charge? Here, here! Yeah. Lloyd? Who is this Lloyd? Oh, he must be talking about our faithful servant. Oh, Lloyd, yeah! <laughs> Yes, Mistress Francine, Princess of Frilliness, Queen of all the pretty bows. How may I serve thee? We need more tea. But you just had more tea! Ow! Okay, I'll get it. Oh, and one more thing, Lloydette. Yes, Princess Francine, what is it? I believe your friends would like a word with you. Ah! Ooh la la, who was that? Come on. <laughs> Stone, Elizabeth? You guys have got to promise you'll never tell anyone about this. She's blackmailing you, man. She knows you want them Krontar so you can get that rocket sled, and that's how she's got power over you. That plus the fact she can blow you up with her eyes. You gotta stop her, man. Yeah, but how? It's quite simple, actually. This situation is a perfect example of a classic power struggle, like in chess. In order to defeat your opponent, you must first find the piece he values most, and then threaten it. Hey, threatening stuff. I can get into that. Yeah, well, all this talk about valuable chess pieces is fine. But remember, this is Francine. Besides herself, what does she value? Why, that? Didn't you hear the silver bell? I've been ringing it for five whole seconds. Hurry up. Rosie needs more tea. She's parched, and she hates being parched. Isn't that right, Rosie? Oh, I love you, Rosie, Rosie. <laughs> Guys, I think I found my chess piece. Why, yes, Mrs. Beastly. I'd love to marry your son. Sweet, Lloyd. All you gotta do is waltz over there, swipe Francine's doll, hold it hostage, and presto. Bachelor's Paradise Restored. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Eddie. If I do anything wrong, she'll read my mind. And bang, she'll crash my hard drive. Perhaps the risk is too great. No, I have to try. It's the only way I'm going to survive the weekend. Oh, Lloyd, yeah. My friends are ready to go home now. Will you please see them to the door? My pleasure, Mistress Francine. Goodbye. Come again. Love the outfit. Well, we better be going, too. Good luck, man. You're gonna need it. You know, Lloyd, I gotta admit, you're a pretty good babysitter. I mean, was that a great tea party or what? Yeah, right. Great party. In fact, I was thinking, hey, what are you doing? Uh, no, 
Dalton? Nothing, eh? Well, maybe I'll just have to read your mind and find out for sure. Uh, uh, hey, Francine, I got an idea. Why don't we get out of here and do something fun? Fun? What kind of fun? Oh, uh, you know, like the stuff you're always asking me to do, but I would never be caught dead. I, I mean, never have time to do. You'd want to do that? With me? When I didn't even order you to? Sure, Francine. It'll really tire you up. I mean, it'll be lots of fun. Gee, Lloyd, that'd be really neat. And then after this, we can play Dead Dead Dolls with Larry on the bridge. And then after that, we can play dress up with Boomer. And then after that, he can pony in my space wagon around the station. And then after this, we can go to the mall and eat junk food. And then after that, we can blow bubbles in the park. And then after that, we can do finger paints on the station windows. And then after this, we can play swimming pool in the bathtub. And then after that, we can play charades. And then after that, we can make macaroni pictures on paper plates. And then after this, we can eat whipped cream till we get sick. And then after that, we can... <gasps> Oh, look, Lloyd! It's the eat sign! Yeah, it's the eat sign, all right. Hey, Lloyd, can I share my special secret with you? Oh, uh, sure. I love the eat sign. It's so pretty and funny and shiny. Sometimes I dream of you and me climbing up the eat sign and eating on top of it and spitting at all the ships as they go by. And in my dream, somehow the spit doesn't even spot on the inside of our helmets. That's a real neat dream, Francine. You know, Lloyd, this is turning out to be the bestest weekend ever! Oh, it will be, Francine. It will be. And then after that, we'll... And then after that, we'll... <laughs> Francine, are you awake? Junky cereal? But what am I gonna eat? This! Cream of nutrients. It's good and good good for you. I am not eating cream of nutrients. Now you go out and buy me another box of sugar frosted junk like right now. Sorry, Francine. This is your breakfast and you're going to eat it. Oh yeah? Well we'll just see about that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because if you do, I push this button and a certain little miss takes a trip to another galaxy. <laughs> Why, you? Uh, 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 I could hit this button before you can warm up that vein of yours. You wouldn't dare. Try me. <sighs> now, if I were you, I'd sit down and enjoy my cream of nutrients, or else blast off. <laughs> See? And good for you. Now finish your breakfast. I've got big plans for today. Plans? What kind of plans? And then after this, we'll do the dishes. And then after that, we'll pick up your toys. And then after that, we'll dust the furniture. And then after this, we'll scrub down the wall. And then after that, we'll clean up the fridge. And then after that, we'll make all the beds. And then after this, we'll mop the floors. And then after that, we'll wash the windows. And then after that, we'll clean the bathrooms. And then after that, we'll organize my closet. And then after that, I gotta hand it to you, Lloyd. You solved your little sister problem like a pro. The natural order has been restored. Why, yes it has. Shall we celebrate with another round of sodas? Yeah! yeah. Oh, Francita! Yes, so great, Lloyd, master of the universe. How may I serve thee? My friends and I need our sodas refreshed. Would you do the honors? It's what I live for. Why, thank you, Francita. Ah, oh, you know, somehow my drink tastes so much sweeter this way. Pardon me, Master, but you said I could take a five-minute break. Sure, Francita. Take ten. Just stay in earshot of the bell. Yes, sir. You know, guys, I see a big future in this babysitting biz. I mean, if I could handle Francine, I could handle...
strangle any kid. Do you really think you could keep this up? Are you kidding? She's like putty in my hands. Yes, sirree, I've got her completely under my power. But Lloyd, don't you ever miss the old Francine? Are you nuts? She was a nightmare. Why, I remember one time she wanted to play with my plastic galactic army men, but I wouldn't let her, so she melted them with her brain. <laughs> I got you, Rosie. Everything's gonna be okay now. The nightmare is over for you. But for Lloyd, the nightmare's just beginning. I wanted to go to the movies, but Francine wanted to go rocket skating. So what did Mom say we had to do? Go rocket skating, of course. Well, get ready to go rocket skating again, you jerk. Only this time on your head. I'm telling you guys, there are times when I wish I didn't even have a little sister. You do? Sometimes, when she's bugging me or breaking my stuff or trying to read my mind, I remember back to the days when I was an only child and think, man, I wish Francine had never been born. <gasps> hey, I'll slurp to that. <laughs> <laughs> never been born? Well, you won't have to wish that for long. Goodbye, Lloyd. Goodbye forever. <laughs> I gotta say, guys, this is the life. Me in control with nothing to worry about but having fun with my friends. Kind of reminds me of the good old days. BF. BF? Before Francine. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, there are some good things about having a little sister. For example, oh, Francita! Francita? Where is that girl? Well, wherever she is, I bet she's having fun. Why do you say that, Kurt? Because she's got Rosie with her. What? That's impossible. Well, somebody ripped her off that rocket out there. Oh, no! I run away. Good be forever. Francine. Good be? What's good be? Not good be. Goodbye. Well, at least that's the way I spell it. Goodbye forever? But that means... Quick! We gotta find her before it's too late! Francine? Oh. oh man, I gotta get help. <laughs> We were just playing Deb Deb Dolls yesterday. <laughs> why, oh, why has this happened? Get a hold of yourself, man. Don't worry, Lloyd. We've sent out a search party. Rest assured, we'll find her. One way or another. One way or another? What's that supposed to mean? Attention, Command Central. We seem to have found something in the park. I think you better have a look. Almost got it. Is it hers? No, it ain't hers. It's mine. Sheesh, last time I go skinny dipping in that pool. Good galaxies, man, put some clothes on. But if that's not her bow... And we've searched every corner of the station... Then where could she be? I'll be right back! I had a feeling I'd find you up here. Go away! What do you mean, go away? You scared the heck out of everybody. Now come on, let's go home. Go home! Yourself. Then you don't have to wish she was an only child. Only child? What do you... Oh, you overheard me talking with the guys, didn't you? <sighs> Look, Francine, sometimes big brothers say mean things to little sisters. Yeah, and sometimes little sisters run away from big brothers and never come home no matter what they say. Then I guess I'm gonna have to tell you the truth, Francine. And it's something kind of gross, and you'll probably use it against me for the rest of my life. But when I thought you were lost, I was, well... Scared. Scared of what? That you'll never get your 50 Krontars? No, I was scared because I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, right. It's true. For a while down there, I thought you were really gone. That made me feel terrible because, see, the thing is, even though you're always teasing me and messing up my stuff and threatening to blow up my head, well, you're still my baby sister, and I, I guess I really do kind of love you, okay? You love me? Really? Shh. Keep it down, will ya? Somebody might hear. Rosie, too? Rosie, too. I think Rosie needs a big brother hug. Thanks, Lloyd. Um, Lloyd, does this mean you'll dress up as Lloydette and serve me and my friends tea again? Not in a billion years. 
Like enough with that. And if I were you, young lady, I'd be very... Where am I? What time is it? Did I go offline? There you go, kid. Try not to let her break him again, will you? You got it, mister. Lloyd, are you all right? Well, what happened to me? Uh, where's Francine? I'm fine, Station, and it's a long story, but... Hello? Anybody home? Mommy, Mommy! I'll have to tell you about it later. But, but... Oh, I'm so confused. Hey, you, Commander Nebula. I'm glad to have you back. Yes, but, uh, what, what are you two... Mommy! Oh, hi, honey. Hey, Mom. Welcome home. Well, hi there, Lo... Oh, Lloyd, the place is immaculate. Chalk it up to good old-fashioned teamwork. Right, sis? Right, bro. Gee, I was so worried that you two weren't going to get along. Heck, now that I know you can both handle things so well, maybe I should take off again next weekend, too. Please, Mom! Don't do this to me! She's the worst sister ever! It was awesome! Jeez, I was just kidding. Thank <laughs> you.